Hello all, welcome back to the Matplotlib series in Python and today we'll be discussing about subplots in Python, how we can actually make multiple plots in Python. Because still now we were only seeing that how we can actually plot single graphs and a single figure. But in this video, we will learn how we can plot multiple graphs and a single figure. And you will get to know uh, in a while uh, once we are uh, starting with the subplots. And if you're following along with the previous videos, you must be familiar with the code. And if not, let me just go through it quickly. I have imported pandas and numpy and the way we import matplotlib is we write a statement import matplotlib.pyplot as plt and then we'll be using a seaborn style and we can set it as plt.style.use and uh, then I've imported a data set and we will be using the red wine quality data set, which is available on the UCI machine learning repository. The link to the Jupyter notebook and for the data is available in the description below. You can download the data and the Jupyter notebook if you want, and you can follow along. So let's start with the code. So how we actually, uh, what is the need of subplots in Python is basically subplots provide an object oriented approach in data visualization. And there are a lot of people who prefer an object oriented approach. So what do I mean by that is basically we create some objects and on those objects that uh, we work on. Earlier, what we're doing, we were simply uh, creating plt dot scatter and we were just passing the variables, let's say fixed acidity and then D, uh, df ph and then we were just doing plt dot show so basically we were actually using the plt object that uh, 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 that we imported uh, mat product dot pyplot as plt we were using only that but most of the people actually uh, prefers an object or oriented approach so let's start with subplots now so in order to uh, get, uh, start with subplots how uh, we write fig we basically instantiate two variables, figure variable and an access variable, and equals to plt dot subplots, plt dot subplots. And if I write print ax, and if I do plt dot show. So if you write, there is one, the, uh, this is basically the uh, access subplot, one access subplot, and this is the figure. So basically, uh, this figure contains the whole canvas on which the figure is drawn, and this, AX variable, where AX variable stands uh, for the axis on which the graph is drawn. So uh, currently I have only one axis, that means only one graph on the whole canvas. You can have multiple graphs. So how we can have multiple graphs, we can mention uh, two, uh, two values, number of rows. Let's say I want two rows and one column and calls equals to one. And if I again hit shift enter, then you will see now I have two access subplot. Now I have two access subplot. And as you can see, there are two figures on the whole canvas. So this is zero axis and this is one axis. So as you can see, I've written two rows in one column. So I, uh, rows are horizontal and columns are vertical. So I have two rows and one single column. And in the same way, if you change it, one row and two columns, the difference would be vertical and horizontal. Currently, this is vertical. Now, if I change one rows and two columns, it will be horizontal, if you see this way. So now, let's see how we can actually plot in these axes, okay? So let's say I will keep this code here only. Let's say I want uh, to plot a, a scatter plot in this zero axis where, uh, on which my cursor is. I want a scatter plot over here. So how we can achieve that? fig ax equals to plt dot subplots and i want number of rows to be two and i want number of columns to be one so the location of this axis is zero currently the location of this axis is zero so how we can achieve that ax square bracket zero and then we write dot scatter because we want a scatter plot there are certain things which are changed otherwise if you are following along in the previous videos, there are a lot of things which are similar. So DF, I want to create a scatter plot between fixed acidity and let's say pH. And I want the edge color to be black and I want the color of the plot to be sky blue. And then I write plt dot show. So if you see, I have created two rows and one columns, two rows and one columns, and I have plotted a scatter plot on the zeroth axis that is this axis and this axis is still empty so as you can see now i have a scatter plot on 
my first axis. Let's just let's just see how we can label the axis in this because there is a different way in labeling the axis when we are actually using this subplots approach. So let's say I want to name my axis label, which is a fixed acidity. So how you do that? Ax of zero dot set underscore x label. Earlier it was plt dot x label. Now in subplots it is ax the particular axis on which you want to label dot set underscore x label and then the label you want fix added acidity sorry and in the same way you want a y label so ax of zero to be set underscore y label and the y label represents ph and let's say i want to give a title so it is ax of zero dot set underscore title so we can write relation sorry relation between acidity and ph so as you can see now we have the we have axis labeled relation between we have the title we have the x axis and we have the y axis as well now let's say i want to create uh, another scatter plot another scatter plot between fixed acidity and let's say i want a uh, uh, let's say density not density let's say a fixed acidity and volatile acidity right fixed acidity and volatile acidity so i want to create another plot but on this figure so this the location of this is one this is zero now this is one so what do i do i simply copy this whole thing and i just paste it and first of all we need to change the location the location will be one and and then the variables are fixed acidity and volatile acidity volatile acidity volatile acidity so fixed acidity and then we need to change the labels as well volatile acidity between uh, relation between acidities and then i'm going to hit shift enter so as you can see we have created two subplots two scatter plots in a single canvas in a single figure one shows the relation between fixed acidity and uh, uh, ph and one shows the relationship between fixed acidity and volatile acidity but this graph doesn't look right because as you can see the axis label of the previous graph the above graph is actually overlapping with the uh, title of the below graph so how we can achieve that we can actually use uh, one more function which is plt dot tight sorry plt dot tight underscore layout basically it added uh, basically it adds some padding automatically so if you run it now you see it uh, we have the padding and the labels are clearly visible okay now one more thing we can do is that if you see the x axis of the above graph and the below graph are similar so we what if i want i don't want this axis because the x axis of both the graphs are similar let's say i want to remove this x axis so that we can only compare, we can only use the graph, we can only use the x-axis of the below graph. So we can share the x-axis of these two graphs. So how we can achieve that? In order to in order to share x-axis, so in the subplots function, we need to write share x equals to true. And if I run it, as you can see, the labels are the x-axis, sorry, x ticks are not visible, visible for the above axis and the x labels x ticks and vis visible for the below axis and since we are not using this x axis so we don't need this particular statement of labeling the x axis and so we can remove it so that's how uh, we can actually share axes and same goes for the y axis same goes for the y axis um, okay now these were the th this is an example of uh, two rows and one column let's say you want to create four subplots in one single figure so let's do that as well so i will write fig ax equals to plt dot subplots now i want four uh, four uh, subplots in my graph so i will be uh, creating two rows and two columns n rows equals to two and n columns equals to two uh, and uh, let's see the axis and plt dot show so if you see now i have four uh, axis uh, on one single canvas you know, this is one subplot this is second and this is third and this is fourth now let's see 
how we can actually i'm going to remove this let's say i copy this value only i copy uh this one and i want this scatter plot to be visible on this particular graph now the location the way we actually access the uh, way we actually access the uh, particular axis is changed because the location of this is going to be uh, in a array manner so this location on which my cursor is this the axis on which my cursor is 0 comma 0 this is 0 comma 1 this is 1 comma 0 and this is 1 comma 1 1 comma 1 so how we can access is basically we just need to write 0 comma 0 0 comma 0 everywhere we have written 1 earlier we are we were using only one rows or two columns and if we have uh, if we have used a two rows in one column and if you use one rows in two columns we can simply write zero or one if you are using two rows or two columns and one uh, and correspondingly one row or one column but if you are using more than two rows and two columns then you have to access in this way zero comma zero and then zero comma zero again we will i will uh, automatically adds the padding with the help of layout function then plt dot show so if you see the scatter plots is added over here now let's say i want to create a bar chart there is a there is a column called quality and i want to create the uh, create a bar chart of alcohol and quality okay so let's create a bar chart on this particular axis so how do i do that this axis on which my cursor is basically one comma zero so write one comma zero a dot bar and I write DF L hall and uh, then I write DF let's say quality EC equals to basically the edge color and I want the color to be red and I will label the x-axis obviously because it is always a good practice to label your axis so alcohol and one comma zero set underscore y label let me just change the spellings quality and if you see now oh sorry i actually uh, used another axis it should be zero comma one my bad And I don't need, I don't want to show this exact uh, edge color as well. Oh, sorry. Okay, so you can see there's a bar chart. Okay, there's, okay, uh, I did a mistake. Quality should be on the X axis. Quality should be on the X axis and alcohol should be on the Y axis. alcohol should be on the y-axis now you can see uh, the relation between quality and alcohol so the alcohol content oh i didn't change oh, i need to change the variables as well so as you can see the quality uh, the highest alcohol content is in the uh, wine which is of quality five so now let's say i want to create another uh, line chart or another scatter plot this scatter plot basically this scatter plot and i want to create the scatter plot over here so the location of this axis is one uh, one comma zero so i just need to change the location and everything stays the same i, I don't need the title for now and let's add one comma zero dot set underscore x label to be fixed acidity So now if you see, I have created three plots and in the same way, we can add one more plot in this particular axis. Now I will uh, left that for, I will leave that for, uh, for you to do it. And let's just say how we can actually create a single title for the whole figure. Let's say I want to add a single title for the whole figure. So let's say I want to create a fig. So how do you actually give a title to the whole figure? Fig dot subtitle. Basically, it stands for super title. And I want to create the key indicators. 
key indicators for red wine basically these graphs will indicate something and some other properties second so as you can see i have written fig dot subtitle so there is a super title which is the the upper title which is main title for the whole canvas so i hope you were able to understand how we can actually access uh, uh subplots and how we can actually draw a uh, different subplots in python other works in the same way there are a lot of uh, uh, changes in the uh, name nomenclature like for earlier it was pld.xlabel now here it is set underscore y label and there are a lot of things which are similar and one more thing let's say you want to increase the figure size so what you can do fix size let's say 10 comma 10 earlier it, we have to do it's like pld.figure and then we have to pass the fix size in this we can actually increase this figure figure size in this way so i hope this would do it for this video uh, and uh, i hope you were able to understand how we actually make different subplots and how we can actually create a dashboard kind of a feel in python using matplotlib thank you so much and have a great day i will see you in the next video